Welcome to Crypto Rosetta, my name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at ADA. It's been absolutely hammering it to the upside, so let's go have a look and see what we think is going on. Okay, so what we're looking for here is the potential of a, um, this is what we've been tracking for a while now, the potential to actually come up towards this um, C wave high here of this 51 cents. So we've been tracking this for a while and uh, we are progressing up here nicely. The problem I have currently is the way that this structure is forming. There is potential if we push up high enough towards the 71 cent that we could change how we look at this move and this would then become potentially a one, two, three. We'd wait for a fourth wave and then we'd have a bigger fifth wave to the upside. So this would be the, the bigger picture looking out for that potential that we could be looking to create uh, or to continue in a bigger trend to the upside. But we don't have confirmation of this yet and we need to be a little bit cautious about the fact, um, you know, at the moment we still only have a three wave move up here. There is potential for extension within these waves and we're going to discuss that now so the way that i'm currently looking at this move if we were arguing that we're within a c um the only way that it would make sense is if we are actually extending out here within these um waves so this is quite messy here but basically the idea would be that we have a series of ones and twos within this move which are starting to push to the upside so i'm going to ignore these ones for now and we're going to discuss the most important ones which would be um, this one here. So what we're looking for for a confirmation here is actually a bigger move up towards this 50 cent ATH here. And what we'd wanna see is, you know, a good five wave structure, which is starting to develop now. Um, we still need to see this maintain, but this is our target area for confirmation of this count would be up here towards this zone of this uh, 50 cent ATH. So we haven't reached that yet. We need to just be careful. Um, this can still look to break down. We have just interacted with this top trend line here. We are moving through it at the moment, but just want to keep an eye on it and see if we actually look to reject it to the downside. So we're going to discuss a couple of things um, within this internal card now. So within this, basically what I'm looking for is the potential that we have a one, two, one, two here, another one, two, three, four, five, which could potentially be looking to complete. So I've got this target here of this 4601. We haven't quite got there yet. It does look like it's sort of nearing the end of this. Unless we do extend out um, more, I would be expecting this to complete um, this white, the, sorry, this yellow fifth wave towards this 4601 area. And um, with that, then we'd be looking for the potential of this fourth wave to walk back down towards this zone of this uh, 4280. So this is what I'd be looking out for. You know, what I want to see is this play out as a one, two, three, four, five here. Then we'd be looking for a third wave for this fourth wave, sorry, three wave move down for the fourth wave and then continuation up for this fifth. So this fifth could potentially look to push us up as high as this 4687 to this 4821. So the key area to hold here is this 42 cent range. If we fail to hold this zone, um, we need to just be careful that obviously we still only have a three wave structure up here and potentially we could argue this is one, two, three, four, and five. It's not my favorite way of counting the move, but it is possible if you say that we've actually extended the fifth wave within this move here. Um, we could then argue that we have one, two, three, four, and five to the upside here. So this is why this is a key zone, this 42 cent range. If we do break back down here, I don't want to really see this zone get hit. Uh, don't get want to see it, us lose it and sort of consolidate below it because otherwise that would indicate to me that we have potentially the other option we're going to go over in a second. So the key thing here is really unless we hit this 50 cents 88, the structure within this move is looking good to continue up here, but we need to actually get up into this zone. If we fail to achieve this, we just need to be careful of um, the fact that we could actually have a correction that is not completed here. Um, and what we'd be looking for then is the fact that within this within this move here you know first off we're coming up towards some of those zones where we can truncate where this becomes a b and c the structure isn't great like i said for something like that however you know we, we can't write it off and we just need to be aware that we are coming up into this sort of zone so anywhere from this 4170 to this 5137 is a zone we can look to actually you know, complete one of these moves. The other thing that I want to talk about is that perhaps it is also, you know, one other way we can look at this is that because of how choppy this move is, if we fail to, you know, achieve that 50 cent range, 
what we could actually have is just a bigger corrective structure, something like this, where this becomes A, this becomes B, and then this becomes C. So this is something we need to just be on the lookout for, where we could see, you know, a bigger corrective structure in the middle here, which uh, would be looking at something like this, where our typical rejection for this as a as an extended B wave here would actually be this 4690. So I'm keeping an eye on this area. We are already in the zone here. And if we break, if we go on to the, um, onto the corrective move to the upside, the way we were looking at this previously, we we're talking about coming up into this 4491. And, uh, you know, this has already been met. The one-to-one -one of this is actually up here towards this 4677. So that's looking at this move as a A, a B, and then a C wave. So that one to one would actually be this 4677. So we're already within, you know, the zone here of this as well. So I'm just keeping a little eye on this area. It's 4690 to this 4677 could be quite an interesting area here. So what is the what is the difference between these counts? So within this count here, this would actually be indicating that we could see a breakdown one more time with the C wave here. And where this is actually just a bigger corrective structure here. This becomes A, this becomes B, and then we still get that C wave to the downside. So the interesting thing about this is if we, um, obviously this, this is only with the current information, but as a time relationship, we can see that we've actually spent the same amount of time playing out this wave as we have playing out this wave. So what I want to see now is if we actually do see something like this, so we do get a deeper rejection and we start to take out these key zones as 37, 61, and this low here of this 3367, this would invalidate that potential of having, you know, that direct push to the upside here. And then that could actually lead us into the point where we are looking for, you know, a, a deeper retracement again here, back towards this zone here of the forest sea wave. So what could we talk about target-wise if we see something like this? So I'm going to go with this one-to-one, -one, which is a little bit higher than where we are. Um, but what we could still see as a irregular flat here, would be a move potentially down between this 3173 to this 2814. So this would actually come and sweep these lows here and would actually bring us back down into this zone. So this would be quite a quite a quite a sneaky move if it does play out. So we need to just be on the lookout for it. If we do get a five wave move down here, you know what we need to be careful of is this could actually just be um, a bear trap at this point if we see something like this where this becomes you know a or A or 1, this whole move becomes B, and then we look to push up in a third or a wave um, C. So this would be a very sneaky move. Like I said, there's no sort of confirmation of it yet. We'd have to see if we keep following the bullish count here. But if we do face a sharp rejection towards this 4677 to this 4690 zone, somewhere within that area, you know, what I would be looking for is that potential that we actually could look to start to break down here. And this could be quite a violent one um, and it would be in a five wave structure. So this is the zone we're going to be keeping eyes on. But really, for as long as we continue to hold um, this bullish count here in the extension, what we can continue to look for is that price to move to the upside. So like I said here, this fifth wave I'm looking for around this 46 cent range for this uh, wave five to complete. If it does extend out further, potentially, um, what we could see is a move up towards some of these higher areas. If I just change this here, this 2618 to this 4693 could be potentially the zone this comes in. And then we'd want to see that confirmation of the, um, basically of the, uh, the green fourth wave here, which would look to actually bring us back down here towards this 4379 to this 42 cent area. If we find support here, we're looking for continuation up. If we fail that zone, um, we need to just be careful. There is always potential we could find support lower down here um, and argue that this is one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to look to extend out again. But uh, if that's the case, sort of the last last line of defense I'd be looking for here, obviously, depending on the structure we move down in as well, but um, would be this 39.22. If we move back down past this 39.22 area, it would become more likely to me that actually this whole move has just been corrective to the upside, and we could be looking for some of these lower targets again towards this 3170, uh, 3173 to this 28.14 area. And uh, yeah, I mean, that would be quite a quite a substantial drop here. Need to just be a little bit 
careful within this. Uh, it is still viable, but like I said, some of these top support ranges hold. Potentially, we can be looking to progress up here and continue to push to the upside, looking for that overall target that we discussed earlier, which is this 50 cent 86. If we do push up into this 50 cent 86, we'll obviously have to see how we do it within the structure. But what we would be looking for then is basically an additional fourth and a fifth. And then this would tie into the idea of from further back here, we have some additional ones and twos. This would become wave three, this whole move, we get a fourth and a fifth, and then potentially we'd have one more fourth and a fifth, which could be looking to push us up even higher here. Um, higher than that zone and possibly even as high as that uh, uh where is it this impulsive point here at this 1618 which is the 7199 but we need to continue to hold these support zones and continue to push to the upside here keeping good structure okay i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care